the show loader. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to our webinar about Bluetooth sensors for boats. This is a beacon, just so you know. And now we'll start with the presentation. So Bluetooth sensors for boats. Uh, Bluetooth sensors, they come across, they, they are used in many industries. They can be both used for indoor and outdoor use. Uh, in the case for boats, they could be useful to increase safety, efficiency, and communication. So in this um, presentation, we'll discuss Bluetooth sensors uh, briefing, managing the passenger, managing employees, improving team efficiency, Bluetooth sensors for marinas, and the best practices and conclusions. I will pull out examples as we go. So um, Beacons is the most common Bluetooth sensor. They, make, they emit a constant signal that is decoded by an app or an are on a mobile device, and that the, signals in the, the signal is then transformed into a pre-coded action or message. It is mostly used for indoor, uh, on indoor to release messages relevant to the user's current location. So to, uh, how can use beacons be used for, to monitor equipment on, a, on board? An example is how you could use um, we have temperature beacons. They can emit, they can emit uh, signals, so the beacon will emit signals to the mobile devices and, invite, and give the crew messages about the equipment. About temperatures, you can think about uh, high increases or decreases in temperatures, and it's good to, it will timely advise the crew members on the temperature changes so they can see if there's something wrong with the equipment this at the end will increase safety. Um, and then we have managing employees. It helps, uh, beacons can help to, to maintain your employees safe. Well, there's a very, uh, very interesting case on beacons to be used to track firefighters. Firefighters come into situations in where GPS sometimes doesn't work and beacons are a good alternative for that because they do work in the places that GPS doesn't. Um, the beacons, the beacons emit, emit real time, so real time tracking of the employee. Or in this case, the the firefighter. It shows the motion of the firefighter, an accurate location, and while well, this increases the safety of 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 the firefighter, and it's currently being used in in one of the cases. Uh, and then we have. Sorry. Yeah. So man managing passengers. Um, as you can see, you can use it for your employees, but you can also use it to increase the safety of your passengers in the boat. There's, a, there's an example of MSC. They're using this, um, they're using beacons on their new boat, on their new cruise. And it, it helps to track the kids on boat, so increase the safety of the kids, then you know where they are exactly at each moment. You do not need to think about that they will fall off the boat, or at least you can monitor them more accurately. This, in the end, will provide a more relaxing experience for the passenger and also for the, for the crew because their, their safety concerns are less than before. Uh, moreover, you can also provide your passengers with tailored messages and on location. So I'd say if you have, in case of a cruise and you have a show starting at four, you can just message them beforehand and tell them, well, there'll be a there will be a show starting, do not forget about this, or other messages, weather forecast. There's a lot of options for that. So in the end, this can improve overall customer experience and it can improve customer service. Beacons for ports and marinas. Um, well, I'm, I'm originally from Amsterdam, so boats are very common in the city. And um, 
when Amsterdam Farwater uses them to alleviate traffic in general. So during normal days, but this can be very useful on big festivities as King's Day or Gay Pride, where there's a lot of boats in the water and there's no good way of controlling them. So to alleviate traffic congestion, this can be a very good option because it can, you can, you can send messages to the people on the boats and tell them to take a different route or just advise them, uh, give them insight about the traffic conditions and all of that. Another example for beacons on boats and from ports and marinas is BoatSense. BoatSense uses this to provide inf real-time information based on location to the, to the user about boats that you can buy and sell. So it's a buyers and sellers app. It engages with, with the interesting people on boats. So if you're walking on the marina and let's say you have the app, so you, might, you are interested in buying a boat, it can just provide you real-time location about the boat the conditions, um, the price, and all of it. So there's, n there's no need for a middleman, which is really nice. Uh, improving efficiency in teams. So companies are always looking for solutions to increase the safety and efficiency in their teams. And beacons can be a very good tool for that. It, helps you incre it can help you increase the overall efficiency and it can help you avoid doing double tasks. I will explain further. So um, for an example is Lighthouse and Spotless case. They use beacons and the beacons for them, as they emit constant messages, they will tell their, the employees that has already cleaned the room or been in, this, in a space, it is checked. So the beacon checks it off. In this case, the new the new person, the the other employee that comes comes around, they will know that it's not needed to do that room again because it had a, it has already been cleaned. Also, another example in this case is that it helps with the control it, on the overall increases efficiency. That's it once again, and it also gives them more clarity on the cleaning times and the places that need to be checked. So no double work for your employees, less, which is good for both, both parties. And well, these were the best practices for beacons for boats. Uh, I'll be hanging here for, if in case you have questions, so just let us know. I hope you enjoyed it.